When you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, a small percentage of patients may qualify for what's called active surveillance. Active surveillance is, is monitoring your cancer, not doing active treatment for your cancer, but just watching it. There's some fairly strict criteria for those patients that do well with active surveillance. So when you look at this, we want you to look at your biopsy report and compare this with, with what's on your biopsy report and see if you possibly qualify for what's called active surveillance. The first thing for, for an excellent active surveillance patient is you ideally want to be dealing with low risk prostate cancer. So nothing greater than a Gleason 6. If you have a Gleason 8, a 9, or 10, not that you can't do active surveillance, but you're not the best candidate for active surveillance. You also would ideally like your PSA less than 10. And then you look at the, the volume of cancer that's on those biopsies. Usually 12 cores are taken at the time of your prostate biopsy and you don't want any more than two of those cores positive for cancer because that suggests a higher volume of cancer. You also don't want any core to have more than 50% positive for cancer. So if you look at any core on your biopsy, if it says 70%, 80%, 90% of that core has cancer, then again, not likely the best candidate for active surveillance. You also would like clinical grade less, less than T2A. You want to be dealing with a prostate cancer that is usually less than half of one side of the prostate that's localized to the prostate and simply growing just within that prostate. And then the last thing is, is, is what's called PSA density, or, or, or what this is, is it looks at the, the ratio between PSA and the volume of prostate. As the prostate gets bigger, more PSA is produced. In a smaller prostate, um, having a PSA of 10 is much more suspicious in a small prostate than it is in a bigger prostate. And so this is using PSA density, and, and, and really it's a ratio. So it's your, your PSA divided by your volume on a volume of prostate on your ultrasound, and this gives you a ratio. And again, you would like this ratio to be less than 0 0.5. So these are basic criteria to see once you have your biopsy results, to look at your biopsy and know if you are possibly a candidate for active surveillance. Active surveillance doesn't mean you don't watch or monitor your cancer. With active surveillance, there now becomes a closer watch on your cancer. So what will happen is you will get routine PSA blood testing. So every three to six months, you may get another PSA blood test to see if it's increasing. If the PSA is increasing, that may be a sign that cancer may be progressing. So PSA is done. You may consider getting what's called an MRI of the prostate to look for other lesions in the prostate. And so MRI can be done. Repeat biopsy is often done to assure that your cancer has not changed or grown to a greater stage that may warrant some type of treatment. So repeat biopsy is done, and this is done anywhere between six months and two years, a repeat biopsy. And then also a digital rectal exam, actually feeling the prostate and feeling for a suspicious nodule that may be present that wasn't present on previous exams. And what that would signify is growing cancer, advancing cancer that may prompt some type of new treatment. So, this is active surveillance. This is what is done for active surveillance. Now, of all the patients that do this, maybe 30 to 40% of patients over their lifetime will need some type of definitive treatment for their prostate cancer because of 
failure of this active surveillance to really need a different type of treatment and whether that's surgery or radiation or focal treatment or brachytherapy another type of treatment is needed in 30 to 40 percent of patients who are doing active surveillance so active surveillance is also extended to patients that are advanced in age and so if you're greater than 70 years of age this criteria can now include a higher Gleason score. So anyone with a 3 plus 4 equals 7 Gleason score and a PSA less than 15. Those patients can also be watched.